This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at MiniatureMarket.com. Hi everybody, today we are looking at Delve, a game by Richard Launius and my good friend Pete Schreier. As you know also well, I am here with Janice and Mike and we're going to break this game down. But first, let's take a look at Delve and go down to the table and see how you actually play it. Alright, so here we are down on the board. Here's how you play it. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to explain every rule, but I am going to tell you pretty much how this plays out. There is a sundial, so depending on how many people that you have playing from two to four, you're going to put it here. As, as you play, you'll notice that there are little sun markers all throughout this, this board here. Now, as you put out tiles, because the whole point of this is taking and putting out tiles, when you put out a sun marker, it actually brings it down. Once it gets to the end here, that's how the game ends. Now, this is really simple how this all plays out. As you're laying tiles out, you are going to take your followers, Carcassonne style, more or less taking your knights, and claim rooms. Like for instance, in this instance here, there's a room with an opening here. You have to claim it beforehand. So you would claim this. You do not show who you have. Now each, each person has a different type of, of skill. As you can see, you can have the forest for folks. You can have the cell, uh, cell swords, the rats, and there are a, uh, the cobalts, which is another uh, faction that you don't see. Once you claim that room, once it closes off, then you would actually try to claim the, the room. Now by claiming room, it's not as simple as you think. You just don't count up all the gold and get it. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gold here. What, what would happen here is that you would have to negotiate an encounter card. And these encounter cards have a few things that happen here. They have a nice flavor text to it. And then you have a choice. Once you read it, it says, do you want to do A or do you want to do B? Once the person chooses, they have to roll a number of dice depending on what they have here. This leader rolls a red and a purple. As you can see, the reds are a lot more fighting ability. The purples have a little bit more coin, but not as many swords. And the whites are just one or two of each, but they do have re-rolls on them, so you can have that exploding dice effect. You will try to negotiate and beat the card. If you beat the card, you will get whatever is in that room. One, two, three, four, five. You would get five treasure cards. The treasure cards are pretty unique. They have different values from three to one. You're going to try to get the most treasure card, I mean, uh, gold cards, as well as treasure cards, because if you see here, there's also treasure that you can claim. And by getting that, you get special abilities or special gold that will actually make the um, make the end game uh, total higher and that's what you're trying to do is get the most points the most points at the end of the game wins so without further ado let's go up top and get my final thoughts on this and we'll let you know what we think of Delve so there you have it Delve so guys I'm gonna bring it to you guys we played this a little earlier um, what did you think of it? I think it's really fun. I think I like I like how it takes the Carcassonne mechanism, but then adds more to it with the with the different powers on each one of the units that you've got in your faction. Um, so I think that while it's got a mechanic that a lot of people know, it adds that extra flavor with the uh, with with each race having its own special powers and stuff and stuff uh, special type of guys. And I think also the encounter cards are cool because literally. It's not just you always fighting. Sometimes, even if you think you're choosing the good one, sometimes right. th they're both, you're gonna lose something. There's like no good. Both results are a bad thing, so it's not always guaranteed. And all the little stories and stuff just make it fun because you're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? You know. And then of course the whole combat aspect of it is really cool. And then the whole dungeon crawl where you have a time limit. It's not until you run out of tiles, because if not, as you can tell, um, with the amount of tiles that were explained in the rules, you could go on forever. So 
it's yeah. cool that there's kind of a limitation to not prolong the game and make it. I think this is a lot of fun. I think we had a good time playing yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It, 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 you know, we could have played it a little quicker, but it was the first time we played it, and we did it in just under an hour and a half, which wasn't bad uh, for playing it for the first time. The the two complaints I have, okay, is I think if you fail, you should get nothing. Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And there was another thing that I didn't explain in the rules, that you can't fight each other. So if you're in the same room, and that room closes off, you battle each other. I think the loser should get nothing and get mm -hmm. sent off the board. I think it should be a little more harsher. The other thing that I was kind of disappointed in is the components a little bit. And, and this is kind of minor, but these white lines here, um, it looks like maybe I just got a bad version where the, they weren't cut pop properly. I don't know if that's in other people's versions. Um, maybe it's just my version, but it kind of gets confusing with that white line it running does. through there. Yeah. Because you think that's a black wall or something. Right. But right. all in all, I, I, I mean, if people are going to go, well, this is Carcassonne. No, it's oh, no, not. It's not. It absolutely it's not. not. It's definitely not. Right. I didn't have yeah. a good time playing Carcassonne because it's it's much more terrain based. There's a lot more rules to tile placing. Mm -hmm. This is a little more free, and there's opportunities to kind of cheat the system based on your your characters mm -hmm. and based on XP that you can use. And there's the whole fighting aspect's a big part of the game. So you're not just guaranteed treasure for closing something off. Right. You can make this massive room, lose an encounter, and there goes all your work. Right. From that's, building. Carcassonne is more about the building. This is about like what happens in these cards or what happens between two players. Right, and that's a big difference between Carcassonne. Carcassonne is just a clearly clearly a tile laying game. Whether you're right. With this one, you also have to make sure you you're not the, guaranteed what's right. in your and you got to make sure you have the right guy down because if you put this down, then oh, and then you come in and close it with a magician's one, and then you or the magic one, and you've got a magician, and then all of a sudden things just where well, you thought, hey, I've got a nice big room, I'm about to claim a lot of treasure from. Now you have none of it because you automatically start with three swords, or two, or three swords, yeah. where now they've got this uphill battle. Yeah. Richard's never made a game that I haven't liked. Pete, um, Pete, this I, I believe this is one of the first games that he's uh, tried to do, which makes me even more curious to see what Shark Island has. That's right. Yes. Because you know, I, 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 I thought this was very, it was very simple. It was very easy to understand. Yeah. The rule yeah. book is is very tight. I think everything was done really well. Where I didn't go, oh gee, this doesn't make <laughs> sense. No. I mean, I played it, I enjoyed it, I had a great time. It's not time. confusing. No. Mm -hmm. I, like the, I, I do like the, the additional powers that, that yeah. each uh, thing. I like to see an expansion that maybe yeah. makes a few of the adjustments I talked about, make it a little bit harsher. Yeah. But all in all... I don't know. There were some moments when we were playing that it was brutal. Yeah, well, so, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you fail, you lost a guy. You yeah. lost a Delver. Yeah. The other thing is I think the, there needs to be more yeah. of that so you feel a little peril. Right, but then, and then I like also that we don't all have the same number. We all have five units, but they're different. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I have two leaders, you had two mages. I don't even know what you had two of, but you know, it's different for each one of the four factions. So you can right. play this again with a different faction, and you're going to have a different strategy on how you attack and approach your different rooms. Okay, so out of five stars, what are you going to rate it, Mike? Oh, wow, I'd probably give it a four. I really had a good time with this. Okay. That's really good, yeah. Four? Good, solid four. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Yeah. I'm going to give it a three and a half, and that's only because of the components, and I think. Like I said, you want to be I will, harsher. Huh? You want to be harsher. Says the loser. I, well, yeah, yeah. Says the one that lost the game. Well, yeah, but but you guys you guys right. failed at things and you were able to get cards. Right. Right. We so, were right because it wasn't a uh, if you failed like, a test you, okay, you lost you failed, everything. Yeah. You didn't lose everything. You only you get half the gold. Half yeah. round, round it down. I don't right. Know. And some of this. I think it's No, I want I want you guys dead. I think that because I was rolling pretty good to kill you guys. No, but I think it's for catch-up purposes. Oh, yeah, you don't yeah, want someone yeah. to be so far gone that you don't even have a chance. No, that's no... true. That's true. Yeah. But, admit, but there are games that way, and sometimes oh, yeah. you just you just oh, got to try to muscle through it. I mean, could you imagine had this not been a fight in this room here? There were like 15 cards in that room, mm -hmm. and had you done a test where you lost it all? I mean, you literally have been. We've been. We worked on this room alone mm -hmm. since the second or third tile that was placed. Right. To lose all of that, yeah. it would have just been that's harsh. Yeah. Which again. May, you know, definitely makes it a little bit more Again, challenging game. Again, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's definitely a three and a half out of, out of five for me. 
and you guys uh, scored a little mm -hmm. higher, yeah. which, which is good because I think it is a great game. Yeah. The story is ridiculous. Yeah, the cards are, are really well fun. thought out. Yeah, really I really well really thought like out. The cards These too. guys did a great job with them. All right, so there you have it, Delve. We've uh, pretty much broken it down. If you like it, you can find it at our buddies at Miniature Market. Until next time, it's me, Rob. Midget. And Jim. Mike. We'll catch you soon. You guys have a great, great week. Sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, videos, and written reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market online gaming superstore. Thousands of games and minis. Discount prices, check them out at miniaturemarket.com.